everyone, my name is SpyFujibi and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Mage playthrough. This is the 8th episode and I have been a very busy beast. This is the last episode. Oh boy have I been busy. You might see on the little mini map there's a bit of a spoiler of what I'm about to show you. In fact, hold on a sec, there's one thing I need to do. One thing I need to do, I need to take all these guys down. Oh, many, many lenses are possible from these guys. Oh, how many have we got? Four? Nice amount. That's a fantastic amount. But I have been busy since the last episode. I've actually widened the central column and the entire base by one block because I really wanted the throne to be in the center of the top room. So without further ado, let's go upstairs and let's have a look at what I have been doing. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I've been working on off camera. We do, of course, have the throne in the center with a little sort of pedestal thing at either side. You can walk up it. We have this thing up here, and I'm going to be reserving this, uh, this weapon slash item frame for what I will think is the best ever mage weapon in Terraria. So that will go up in that item frame there. And basically what's going to happen in these areas is we're going to have all the trophies and such that we managed to obtain during the series. Now obviously down here we have ourselves a bunch of statues and then of course the main storage area ladies and gentlemen. And they're all filled up as well which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, we've got valuables over here including suspicious looking eyes, lenses and maybe old armor that I have. And I've put the mini minotaur in there as well because I like my little dinosaur friend because he's a Amazing. Indeed, I have 508 stone walls and I have decided that I'm going to go for sort of an ancient sort of mage tower build. In other words, what I'm going to do is I am going to use regular stone walls for the backgrounds in each of these little houses. And then we're going to have little windows in each of them just to make them look a bit better. So obviously, we do have ourselves some builder potions. I'm going to use one and we are going to get to work. Oh my lord, that really does place fast, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh my god, the best thing is, this thing lasts for a whopping 15 minutes. So we've got 15 minutes of absolutely ridiculous building speeds. And i got to tell you guys, there's just something so nice about placing things extremely quickly. There really is. Now obviously, I'm pretty sure there's some accessory. Oh god. Ah, I, I genuinely was not expecting that. Okay, I mean, well, I guess I should have been expecting that considering the fact I have more than 200 health and more than 10 defense, which I believe are the two criteria you have to meet in order for the goblin army to naturally spawn. Um, there isn't really anything useful we can get from it, unfortunately. Hmm, kind of sucks, really. But one other thing that's happened since the last episode is I've actually had the traveling merchant spawn in once again, but unfortunately he actually wasn't selling the rune wall, so I decided to just buy some dynasty wood, because that is what he had. Whoa! Holy guacamole! What the devil? There's, there's five of them! There's five of them spawned at once! What the hell? <laughs> Invasion of the mages! Oh my god! That is crazy! Alright, here we go, here we go. We've got to go down. And we got to take these guys out of the game. Oh yeah, I will not have my first death to be towards, well, second death. I won't have my second death be to the goblin invasion because that, ladies and gentlemen, would be absolutely embarrassing to the point where I feel like I would have to quit the entire game. So, yeah. Oh, a banner. Nice. I do like myself a bit of a banner. Hey, good, hey, good sir. I got to tell you guys, th this weapon is doing its job. It really is. It, I'm pretty sure it pierces once. It pierces the enemies once, which is awesome. It's fully auto, it is quick, it does damage, it does use a fair amount of mana, but you know what? I've got quite a lot of mana on me now because of my diamond robe and my uh, and my jungle leggings. They're very good indeed. Right. Now obviously by doing this, we'll be able to have the, uh, the Goblin Tinkerer. And that means we can combine some accessories and buy some rocket boots. Indeed, that will be absolutely amazing. You can actually, like, stop killing my dudes now. That'd be very, very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at all them rangers over there. I hate the rangers. They do so much damage. They really do. All right, come on. Come on, you bunch of embarrassing sissy bags. Are you done yet? I feel like I'm just running to the right-hand side of the map, and they're all just still spawning in my path. What is up with that? Get out of my grill, brother. Come on. Come on, we're doing this, we're doing this. This is going to be like one of the quickest goblin invasions early in the game. That'd be cool. Except it probably won't be, let's be honest. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but on single player, I believe you get 80 mobs spawn with the, uh, the goblin army. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I read that somewhere, maybe the Terraria wiki or something. 
Hey, good sirs. Hi. How you doing? Look at you blooming jumping around at, at speed as well. Oh my god. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, yeah, majors, you bunch of idiots. All right, come on. Oh, wow. Have we even had a harpoon yet? We have not. No harpoons. No harpoons to sell by the looks of it. Unless we're lucky. Oh, look at all these guys. There's so many of them. They're all inside each other as well. This is this is like 18 rated content. They're all inside each other. This is just wrong, dude. This is wrong on many, many levels. Uh, so, yeah. You guys like done yet? Sure would be nice if you guys were done. Yay! Alright. At least we're getting plenty of spiky balls from this. I mean, obviously we're not going to use them because they are for rangers, not mages. You're restricted to magic weapons only on here, of course. So I'm going to sell them. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? All right. By the looks of it, there's just that little mage guy over there. And um, this guy, apparently. All right. Is that it? Is that it? Yep, the music has changed. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the goblin invasion. Easy as pie. Easy as pie, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely easy. Right, so here's what's going to happen. I do have one chest remaining. It is my things to be sold chest. Look at all the stuff we could potentially get a bunch of money from. Awesome source. Now, the rest of it, all of the storage has been moved upstairs. And eventually, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to take this house down. It does not need to be here. Not in the presence of this amazing structure, which... Uh, well, I think it's amazing because it's like the most amount of time I've ever spent on the build. <laughs> and do, do you know what? It shows, doesn't it? The amount of time I spent on it. It's pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, okay. Now, the good news is we still have a whole bunch of uh, building potion left, which is always a good sign. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually ran out of stone. I used the last of the stone to make stone walls. Yep, we don't have any more. And there's the, there's the dynasty or dynasty wood. Both pronunciations are in fact correct, ladies and gentlemen. Both pronunciations are correct. It's just really region specific, as are most pronunciations of a lot of words. Right. Okay. So I mean, I guess we can sort of partially fill in a uh, in a, a room over here. You know, just get rid of the wall right here. There we go. And that is that. Right. Okay. And now I guess we can start filling in. Some of the furniture, right? I see no reason not to. Hi, how are you doing? If you could die, that'd be great. All right, good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna pick that up as well. Uh, do we have regular wood on us? No, we don't. But I believe we have some in the chest. There we go. Nice and nice. And we are going to grab the sawmill out right here. Yep, that work. And we are going to put. Hmm. Hmm, I'm just trying to figure out where I can put these uh, these bits of furniture. I don't know at the moment. Okay, so the rooms are 10 blocks wide, of course. Okay, so let's put that right there. Okay, and with this, we are going to make some mannequins. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, we just need to figure out how many mannequins we can put on each side. I mean, that's going to be easy to figure out. If it's going to be 10 platforms, and of course, it's going to be 5 on each side. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll have another five for the other side. Ah, crap. Well, there's us out of wood, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, no, I killed a penguin. Oh, God. I am a terrible person. Wait, you can use you can use Boreal wood to make the mannequins, can't you? They don't make different types of mannequins. Pretty sure they don't, anyway. Hello. How are you doing? If you could die, that'd be very, very nice indeed. There we go. Good stuff. Right, now one thing, another thing I want to do in this episode is I actually want to take down the Eater of Worlds because I believe we'll be able to do that with ease, let's be honest. We've got a lot of damage, a lot of mana, a lot of potions, just a lot of everything, basically. All right. Okay, but let's just do this for now. Start filling up some rooms. I don't believe the, uh, the Eater of Worlds fight would take very long at all. So let's go over here. Uh, mannequins, there we go. We need three more. Fantastic. And then we need some platforms, regular platforms. Uh, 20 of them for two rows. There we go. So if we go over here, start placing these in. There we go. And again on this side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing this place finish, my friends. I really am. I mean, it is really coming along quite nicely, isn't it? You cannot deny that fact. It is really coming along. 
There we go. See, a lot of things are really starting to come along. Now, on purpose, I am not going to have NPCs on the ground floor. I'm going to have them all above the ground floor in all of these little rooms. And, of course, we have special rooms for for certain dudes. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm thinking of putting the wizard up here. This was actually someone else's idea, and I think it's a very good idea, in fact. Hmm, the question is, where? Where, where, where? I believe we already have the comfort item, which is the throne. We just need some sort of table in here. Some sort of table! Hmm... Maybe if I just put a regular table down. Right, okay, tell you what. Let's go over to this place. Can we make the dynasty table here? Nope, not by the looks of it. Boreal workbench? Nope. Okay. Table. Dynasty table? There we go. <laughs> wow, okay, that look- Oh crap, I made the wrong thing. God damn it! They look exactly the same! Get off my back! Okay. How's this working? So valuables. Alright, we're gonna move these things over a block, okay? Don't worry, all will become clear very, very soon. All will become clear. Okay, dynasty table in the center. Boom. Okay, ivy chest. Wait, hold on a sec. I need to do something first. You come over here. Eh, I guess that's okay. Boom, 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 boom. So these were the accessories chests. I've got two accessories chests because, you know... Over the course of the Let's Play, we're probably going to pick up quite a lot of them, let's be honest right here. Right, come on. Bombs, dynamite, yep, that's all good. We've got old valuables. Uh, okay, we should be pretty much good to go. Put that in there, put that in there. This is going to go in the old furniture chest. And the rest of it is pretty much standard stuff, I guess. So that can go in there. Can we make torches out of Dynasty Wood? We actually can't. Interesting. Interesting. I did not know that, but now I do. Cool. Right. Okay, there we go. So, is this going to count as a house? Missing a chair. Ah, only the bottom layer counts. Huh. Okay. Hmm. That's a bit of a bummer, actually. That is a bit of a bummer. What if I get rid of that, and I get rid of that? Will this count as a house now? Oh, it will! Okay, so apparently having wooden platforms sort of blocking off an area will actually count towards a house. Interesting. I did not know that, but once again, <laughs> I do. Sweet. Okay. I feel like there's a couple bits of... Uh... Oh, crap. What did I do? I broke things! I'm a terrible person. I'm vandalizing my own house. What am I doing? Uh, nurse! Nurse! Why you do this? Why do you even do this? Huh? God damn it. Jesus. I mean, freeloader. All these freeloaders in this world. This is not acceptable. Not acceptable by any stretch of the imagination. Right, okay. So, in terms of things we have to defend ourselves with, uh, we have one more iron skin potion. I don't believe we're going to need that, to be honest with you guys. We'll take a shine potion. Splonker, no. Gravitation, no. Builder, nah. Night owl, maybe. I don't know. Archery, nah. Hunter potion. I mean, that will help for locating him, so I might as well take it down. Right. Okay. Okay, guys. We are going to do this thing. We are going to grab some bombs out. Wait, do we have a demolitionist? We actually don't. Hmm. Okay, in which case, we are going to take the dynamite down. <laughs> this may or may not turn out to be a very, very bad idea. I have no idea yet. Right, let me just go check on my star supply. I've got nine of them. Holy crap. Money crystal. Sweet. All right, guys. We are going to head towards the corruption biome, and I will... Well, I don't need to meet you guys there, because obviously the corruption is literally here, isn't it? <laughs> it's right beside our base! This is not good! Right, okay, we just need to go down the chasms. Now, the weird thing is, there's actually some more chasms that go down here as well. So that's pretty cool, I guess. But we have one, two, three shadow orbs. Alright, we're gonna go... No, that's the wrong one. Crap, 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 crap. Which one is it? The third one. Okay, right. In which case, I might as well just block the other ones, right? Okay, here we go. Let's just be careful. Use the old double jump and the old grappling hook techniques. Hoi! There we go. <laughs> All right. Right. Okay. So there are two right next to each other. So what we're going to do is we are going to bomb the crap out of this. There we go. Move out, this, sir. There we go. Sweet. And maybe another two. Is that going to do the job? One. Another one. <laughs> this should do the job, right? There we go. Right. Now then. 
Let's break that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up top really quick. Like so. <clears throat> there we go. And we are going to make ourselves some platforms. Two, three, four. Oh, crap. Come on. Place them right. Place them right. That'd be nice. And again. There we go. And torch. And here we go. Band of star power, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome source. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, brother. 38 damage I saw there as a crit. Nice. That is a very, very healthy amount. And buff. There we go. I can see everything. Everybody's going to die right here. Oh, that's me out of mana. I did not bring mana potions. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a bit of a boo-boo on my end. I should have bought mana potions. Well, as long as I stay alive, if I try and kill the head parts... That seems to be the weakest bit. Kill the head parts, get mana, get rich. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hey, there we go. Look, I see little mana stars dropping. Sweet. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, regular dudes. Yes, there we go. Ooh, another banner. Awesome. All right, he's doing his weird coily crap. There we go, come on. I can't believe I didn't bring any mana potions down with me. That's like one of the basic things you need as a mage. I am being so stupid. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got ponage stance. Oh, yeah. I do love me a bit of the ponage stance. Come on. Where's the other guy? There's like... There we go. Little mini dude. Oh, damn it, I missed all of that lot. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. There we go, there we go. Give me the mana back. Fantastic. Thank you very much, good sir. All right, all right, that's, that's him out of the game. I am being knocked all over the place at this point. And that's him out of the game. And dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Many, many dots, because I'm waiting for him to die. And he's out of the game. There we go. Huh, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> Even without the use of mana potions, that was actually reasonably easy. I'm a big fan of that. All right, okay, how much did we get? 112? That was a fantastic amount. God damn. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, rotten Chunks, Shadow Scales, a Band of Star Power. That is going to be very useful. What are you going to equip that? Uh, ooh. What do we replace though? I feel like we didn't use the Hermes boots at all in that fight. So I'm actually going to equip this thing. And it also gives me damage. So this does 24 damage. Let me just take this off. 23 damage. Yep. One more damage. Awesome. Every damage helps. All right, guys. Uh, what else have we got in terms of explosives? Five dynamite, five bombs. Mm. If I'm very, very precise, I might be able to put that right there. Hey! Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? Hey, it is. Haha. <laughs> Fantastic. But what do we got? Another band of star power. Gosh darn it. You know what I'm after, don't you guys? You know what I'm after. I am after the good old Vile Thorn. The Vile Thorn will absolutely destroy the Eater of Worlds. In fact, I would go as far as to say that with practice, it could probably destroy the Destroyer as well. Let's be honest right here. All right, there's two more of them things down there. Uh, we are going to use another piece of dynamite right here. There we go. Need to get out of the vicinity. There we go. <laughs> I like how that's just floating there. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Love it. Alright, we appear to be in the underground jungle now for some weird reason. Okay, let's go down here. Good sir. Will you get out of here? Thank you. Right. Bombs away! Boom! Only one. That's all I need. Sweet! Sweet, 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 sweet. And maybe one more piece of donut right here. Precision placing. There we go. That should do the job. Oh yeah, this may or may not wind up being a two-parter because I do not feel like ending this episode anytime soon. Bolo hurt. Crap. Musket. Oh my god, this game's trolling me at this point.